my channel and as you can see from the title of this video these are my top five beginners fountain pen uh, recommendation as per my experience and also they are under fifty dollars but to give it a twist i also have an alternative if you have the budget not really that much but if you want to go a little bit leveling up but these are still below hundred dollars so let's not make this so long <laughs> these are my recommendation for those of you um, who wants to try but don't want to spend a lot so these are basically 50 to 100 dollar range fountain pen recommendations so first is i will recommend the kakuno pilot kakuno i hope i'm saying it right this time yes i have a video of this comparing this both but this is another story this is the kakuno um clear one demonstrator version and this is just around twelve dollars if i'm not mistaken in amazon between that range depending on which country you are so this is very common um, beginner's pen i think most of you have already seen this pen online youtube it's from pilot and it's this like college varsity or <laughs> college feel pen okay even though you're in high school or still in school this is a good one however to be honest i will recommend if you have a better budget to go straight ahead to the pilot prera okay i have not used this or bought this as my beginner pen to be honest i started with the china ones hongdian hero um, moon man so those are my beginner pen so i don't i've already made a video of that i'm gonna card it up those are the pens that i'm not buying anymore okay why is he not online <laughs> this is the pilot prera ivory this is the one that is opaque there is a transparent i mean demonstrator one which i'm also looking to get and this is in f nib okay i suggest this one because first it looks a bit more formal and premium more than the kakuno as you can see yeah so these two are both from pilot both fine nibs but feel writing experience and look wise as well i guess because of the price you pay this is a bit more um classy premium pen like you can take this to a formal meeting a signing of contract or applications more than this it's just looking like a regular pen for those who are not aware of fountain pens the looks i still prefer the prera although prera is shorter when it comes to length it's a pocket pen but you can always post this it's also a clip not a twist cup so see for a normal to small hands like mine it's perfect so if i am to go back to my first phase of collecting these pens i would immediately get a prera second on my list by the way these are very well arranged according to the pricing i think these are around 12 dollars and this would be around 28 dollars so it's like a double double amount but it's worth the the price okay second would be the platinum preppy again another con another competitor for the prera same demonstrator pen same cartridge converter uh, ink filling uh, this is a cartridge that is a converter there is a cartridge i mean there is a converter as well but it's a little bit pricey i mean yeah from my end like i don't and to think this is how uh, the slip and seal cup so until now it still writes even though it's been here in my desk and you know stock storage still writing with this much amount of ink this prayer um this platinum preppy is around five dollar pen but 
there's also a lot of color variations color options you can choose this is just a demonstrator the color colored ones are way more um childish kiddish looking that's why i didn't get them so i had this demonstrator before instead of getting the colored ones if you have the budget from a platinum preppy to look a little bit more funky with a, with a design or you want to you know stand out in your class or if you use this at work you can nobody's stopping you this is a pelican twist i'm not even sure if i covered this in my one in my videos here because i just found this in my storage and yeah this is a pool cup and normal a cartridge as well from pelican yep it comes they use the same and this is a very basic one although it is it stands out for its design Chris Saints also influenced me this I will just tag her on the in the channels mentioned she has other colors of this if you want so if you want to look a little bit flashy you know um, stand out this is a good pen which is only around $16 compared to the preppy that is five dollar and look wise it's your preference which one you want but plastic wise plastic material this is more sturdy more premium feel more than this plastic of platinum obviously five dollar and sixteen dollars so this is way I'm not sure if it's even comparable but yeah if you just want to start with the pelican over the platinum then it's a it's worth to try I'd rather directly go through this than with preppy but preppy lovers out there don't hate me it's just my experience because I feel like it's really really too plasticky for me when I write this has more weight to it more than this and third um obviously everyone knows this is a jinhao 82 pen okay this is the white one or yeah this is again around around eight dollars or something yeah this is the normal 82 the dupe for the sailor pro gear slim and i wanted to compare it with a kaweko classic sport but I don't have the mini of this. There is already a mini of this, which I don't have. So obviously, from if if you are starting and you already already have a Jinhao, or you want a little bit higher than Jinhao, might as well immediately jump off to a Kawaiko Sport Classic. This is a twenty-six dollar pen. Okay, clip separate, sold separately, and. Just to warn you guys, as much as it's the same with the Jinhao, this pen brand as well also has a lot of colorways, color options. Same with the Jinhao. The thing is, Jinhao is way, way cheaper than this because it's obviously China and Germany. Quality-wise, premium feels and stuff like that, I feel that Kaweko is worth to try as a beginner pen than a Jinhao. But again, I will have a lot of comments later on because Jinhao is a good brand as well. It's only as per your preference. And this is a packet uh, pen as well. Like I said, this also has a packet version. But if you already know or you want to take my insights as a collector, if you want to expand your collection, might as well go for the branded one like the Kaweko. But Jinhao is also good. <laughs> so, I just don't want to expand um, my Jinhao collection more than my Kaweko. Obviously, it's a preference and the money. So, if you have $26 to spend on a pen, then go for it. Don't get stuck with Jinhao, you know. But if you really like how Jinhao writes more than the Kaweko one, then go for the Jinhao. It's just a matter of preference. But this video is all about my recommendation okay so if you have other recommendation you can also drop by in the comment section you can put whatever you want 
and I know there's gonna be um so much of a debate or you know why this why that but let's just keep it like these are my preference you can have yours you can have your you can do a video of that or you can just write it in the comment section I'd love to know your insights but yeah moving on <laughs> fourth on my recommendation for the this uh, category is the Lamy Safari I have other safaris obviously these are safaris but I just want to put the bear <laughs> it's cute the lion bear so if you're also starting or you want to penable somebody but don't want to spend so much, Lamy Safari is your go-to pen. I believe I heard it in Germany. Since they are in grade 1, they are already obliged to use a fountain pen and that is always the case. Some Safari is always available there. But if you have a little bit of budget to at least level up, and get a better pen quality i suggest if you're for in you're into lamy then might as well get the uh all star lamy okay this also comes with a lot of different colors and it writes more, way better than the safari in my opinion again in my opinion it's way better than the safari so that's my recommendation from the cheapest one to a middle level one you know like leveling up instead so if i am to begin and start my journey again restart my journey i would immediately jump off you know to the next level last but not the least we have to have this is the twisby eco <laughs> eco t or eco you can either this is sells around 32 dollars and as a beginner pen to me i really cannot tell that it's a beginner pen or suggest for really really um zero experience of fountain pen because of the piston feel the rest are cartridge or, or converter filling system but this is a piston feel so if you're really new and you don't have any clue how to ink this and all there is a manual there's always a youtube video but this is really not ideal as a beginner pen but I'm just adding it uh, here since this is when you search for fountain pen beginner pen this will always be there I assure you that so instead if you have the budget again you can might as well jump off straight to the diamond 580 which writes way more better so again this is $32 and this is $50 so it's just a jump of around 50 in each 17 <laughs> more but you get a more good uh, nib writer premium feel your pen will look really really you will stand out because you have a better looking pen more than the eco and also eco is um, just like safari and kawaiko it's a collectible like people collect all colors you don't question them why they are all the same pen but it's a collector's item i suppose i don't have a lot of colors with this but if i have the budget and if i am to rewind i can start only buying the 580 okay if i am to suggest this is a good writer really good writer so guys that's it my top five or so ten recommendation for fifty dollars or below pen or if you have the budget go for move forward to the almost hundred dollars so overall these are hundred dollars below pen but yes if you already knew about this pen and these are my recommendation pens if you want to do the next level or if i am to suggest go directly here if you have the money it's all about your budget and what you really want in life <laughs> i think so yeah please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel guys i know i have a lot of views but please just click the subscribe button i will only i promise you i will not flood you with videos <laughs> maybe two or three maximum in a week and at least i'm trying to be make to make it more informative okay guys um i think that's it for now and i hope you enjoyed this recommendation um at least somehow informative for people who are just looking around trying wanting or 
stopping themselves to get a fountain pen this will really help you guys that's it and i will see you on my next one bye guys